I love traveling. The Gary Chicago International Airport is right here at home. It's easily accessible. Once you have experienced the Gary Chicago International Airport, you will want to fly again out of Gary, Indiana. I would tell them, try it, you'll love it. From the entertainment capital of the Midwest, it's Seven on Ridge with Michael Essany. Tonight, Michael welcomes comedian Anthony Bonazzo. The music of The Mob Rules. Singer and songwriter Robbie Celestin. With Sonny Lee and the Seven on Ridge Orchestra. And me, Kaka. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Michael Essany! Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the show. Folks, it is debate night in America. Exciting, isn't it? Which is refreshing for me, because usually debate night in my house means my wife and I are trying to figure out whether we're gonna watch Leno or Letterman. <laughs> so, tell you, this election has been crazy. All of the humor so far, I'm serious, all of the humor has come from pretty much two people, Clint Eastwood, and Vice President Joe Biden. These two, I'm telling you, they have been comedic gold. But unfortunately for Republicans, Clint Eastwood only talks to people who aren't there. And unfortunately for Democrats, Joe Biden only talks to people who are there. So, yeah. Uh, it's gonna be interesting the next couple of weeks, a lot of the prominent players in the campaign, including the candidates, will make a lot of stops here in the Midwest. Uh, Vice President Joe Biden, is gonna to come to Indiana. There was something in the paper today about that, in fact. The food vendors uh, in charge of putting together the, the meal for the benefit where Joe Biden is attending has been asked to remove some of the potential choking hazards from, from the menu. This is true. I don't know, is that really a great idea? I mean, after all, choking may be the only way to turn Indiana blue again this year. <laughs> I don't know, I'm telling you. What I've heard. Um, voters continuing to criticize Governor Mitt Romney over his new tan. Have you, have you seen Mitt Romney lately? The man is bronzed. George Hamilton is running for president, apparently. Mitt Romney has an amazing tan. I guess he found the uh, only SPF lower than his approval ratings. But <laughs> here's some sad news. This is, this is, I don't even know how this happens, but apparently a local Girl Scout troop in Illinois has been the victim of theft. More than $1,500 worth of Girl Scout cookies have been stolen. What kind of a degenerate steals from the Girl Scouts? You know, I mean, police were called. They even brought in a sketch artist. This is serious business. Do, do we have that image of the man believed to be responsible? Folks, if you see this person <laughs> at home, 
Call Chicago police immediately. <laughs> horrible, horrible man. Just be on the lookout. We like to do our part here. Solve crime, seven on Ridge. Um, what else happening in the news? Apple, Apple, love to talk about Apple. Apple, it is predicted, will face a number of patent and intellectual property related lawsuits over the next 12 months. Um, it's, it's, it's rough, and there's even a rumor that all married women in America will file a class action lawsuit against Apple, because Apple apparently ripped off the autocorrect idea from them. I guess years before the iPhone invented, were, women were still always automatically correct. <laughs> I'm married as well, I know that to be true. Um, this is kind of an odd story. To mask the smell of marijuana, six high school students in Illinois chopped up little bits of hot dogs and rolled it into whatever they were smoking at school, set off a fire alarm, and the kids, the kids got busted. Can you, hot dog chunks, ladies and gentlemen, hot dog chunks. Police later charged them with trying to literally live high on the hog. <laughs> Praise God. But, um, so Finally, yeah, that's... I'm down here at Seven on Ridge. Woo, praise the Lord. What? Glad to be down here at Seven on Ridge. Praise God. How y'all doing tonight? Uh, excuse me, ma'am. We're, we're doing, we're doing a show. Yeah, I know. I was down there. I was at home watching you. And I said to myself, self, myself said, hmm? I said, you ought to go down there to that Seven on Ridge show and see Michael and the band. And I come down here to see y'all. Man, we're out. We're doing a show right now. Am I what? on TV? I, I think so, yeah. For, well, uh, thank God I went and bought me a new hat today. You look beautiful. What, you what, like my hat? I love your hat. It's great. What's your name? My name is Mother Beulah May, baby. Mother Beulah May. Mother Beulah May. Well, thank you for dropping into our show. Yeah, I come down here to tell the band. Now, y'all doing good, but I'm going to come back and teach y'all some Jesus music. Y'all need to learn how to play some Jesus music. That's what y'all need to learn how to do. I'm telling you, because when you learn how to play Jesus music, then you know, then you'll really be playing the guitar and things. But you know, I come down here because there's a few things on my mind that I just can't understand. And somebody got to explain these things to me. Now, I was in church the other day, and the Reverend got to preaching. And he was preaching real good. And he said, turn around and touch about 35 people and tell them Jesus loves them. And I looked around and I said, now maybe he sees something that I don't see. Cause ain't but about 12 people here at church today. So I don't know where he want me. He want me to touch myself? I don't know. I said, well, where the folk at? I don't understand it. And then I don't understand why church got to be so long. Lord have mercy. You know, I didn't got old. I can't hold my bladder like I used to. You know, I got to get up and go to the bathroom about every five minutes. Cause you know, my doctor got me on that new medication and the prescription, you know, I got to go to the bathroom, so they gonna have to make church short. If the Lord could create the earth in seven days, surely we could have church in an hour. I don't understand why church got to be so long. And then the last thing I don't understand, and maybe you can help me understand this, they done got this new law now that you can't beat your kids. Now I don't understand why you can't beat your kids. When I was coming up, Child, my mama used to beat me, I'm telling you. And then she would tell me, you know I'm doing what the Bible say, because the Bible said, beat them and they won't die from it. Now we got these laws, you can't touch your children. Well, I'm gonna tell y'all something, if you don't learn how to beat your kids, they gonna grow up and beat you. I'm telling you, you got to beat them. And you know what you got to do, you got to beat the hell out of them. Because there's so much hell in these kids, that's what's wrong with these kids. See, now I look at you, you looking all sharp, look at you, baby. Praise God. Got your tie on and everything. Somebody must have beat you. Because this didn't, this didn't happen on purpose. Somebody beat you in that tie. Because these kids wearing the pants, the britches down, and, and you can't. But you got on a nice suit. So, did somebody beat you? I think the only one beating me right now would be in the ratings. I, well, I'm just telling you, somebody must have beat you. Because ain't no way you can stand up here and look like that and do all what you're doing without somebody beating you. Well, M Mother Beulah May, it, it was really nice to have you come out here. Praise you're, you're, God. You're man. invited to come back anytime yeah, I'm after, be back. after we're done you know, taping. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to get all y'all saved. That's what I'm going to do. You're going to save. I'm going to get you saved. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, say right that's here. 
Thank you very right. much. I'm gonna be it's back here. with my church here. members. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's we here for Mother Julie May. We're gonna take a quick break. I think we're still on the air. We'll be back. More seven on Ridge right after this, everybody. Marushak Appliance Sales and Service, family owned and operated for over 25 years. The largest independent appliance showroom, a full service parts department, knowledgeable low pressure sales staff, in-house delivery and installation crews. First place winner for four years running in the Times Best of the Region. Marushak Sales and Service at Klein and 30th in Sherrville, online at marushak.com. Okay, we are back. We have a great show for you tonight. If you're just tuning in, our first guests this evening are a tribute band to the legendary late Ronnie James Dio. These gentlemen have made quite a name for themselves in the uh, Chicagoland area, and they're here with us this evening to share both their music and their story. Coming out first to chat with us for a moment on vocals is Steve Reimer. Steve. <laughs> How are you, Steve? How are you doing? Have a seat. Welcome to the show. You know, I've been checking out your stuff today, knowing you're going to come on, and you guys are doing an amazing, amazing job. You've had a lot Thank of success you. so far. Is this, is this your first band? Is this your first go at it? Um, You've been in music that, for a while? No, I've been, been singing uh, for over 30 years. <laughs> now, for those who may not be familiar with, uh, with Ronnie James Dio, who is the man for whom your band honors? Um, he is a, one of the best vocalists in my opinion, um, ever. Um, he had a very unique style, voice, um, uh, just amazing. You know, the people that know him love him. Yeah. He's one of the best uh, hard rock, heavy metal vocalists. And some of the bands he was in include? Well, he, he was in uh, Elf. There was bands before that, and I can't remember the name of that one. Um, that was kind of bebop-ish or whatever. But, uh, there was Elf, there was Rainbow, um, Dio, his own project, and then there was uh, Black Sabbath. Of course. Um, and we do a little bit of all those bands uh, in, in what we do a rendition of what he did, you, you know, done, did over the years. I heard you guys in Soundcheck, you sounded fantastic. Thank um, you. A lot of tribute bands, cover artists, never really get anywhere but you guys have really made a name for yourselves yeah. and you're yeah. thriving what do you attribute that success to um i guess playing the music well I, um you know giving a good rendition of what he he uh was you know yeah. who he was um he had passed away uh last year um or in 2010 uh may 16th 
and uh, the, the he hard rock, heavy metal world lost a great voice. Yeah. But that legacy lives on now through yeah. great music, yeah, including what you guys did. And that's what you're here to do tonight. Yeah. So you're gonna go, what, what are you going to do for us tonight, you and the we guys? We are going to play Rainbow in the Dark. That's a, a, a Dio song. Rainbow in the Dark. All yeah. right, let's hear it for the Mob Rules, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mike. All right, that was the Mob Rules. And I want to mention before we bring out Anthony that uh, the Mob Rules will be playing the Des Plaines Theater Saturday, October the 13th. 
conveniently enough, in Des Plaines, Illinois. It's convenient. Um, and for more information, check out their website at themobruleschicago.com. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll be seeing you again a little bit later on in the show. Our next guest tonight is a very talented young man, stand-up comedian, improviser, and actor living in Chicago today. He can be seen performing stand-up and improv shows, some of the top clubs in and around Chicago. Please welcome Anthony Bonazzo. How are you guys? Good. Everybody out there like bacon? Okay, good, because I'm doing nothing but bacon bits for here on out, guys. <laughs> Uh, if you didn't like it, you should have put a Nuva ring on it. That's all I'll say about that, guys. Uh, guys. On a serious note, uh, I almost had a big night last night. I almost told my girlfriend that I loved her. Uh, and then I realized I don't have a girlfriend. Uh, yeah, my dating life's become like the opposite of Obama. There's just no hope left. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know why I'm having a hard time dating. I'm not that picky. I'm a butt guy. Uh, I like everything but guys. Uh, yeah. It's true though, I'm an ass man ever since I was younger. Uh, now that I'm older, I'm a grown ass man. Um, but it's cool being, you know, single, you get a chance to do a lot of things you don't have a chance to do when you're in a relationship. Uh, like I just started a cleanse, uh, which just means I take a shower every day now. So four weeks clean, clap it up for that. Four weeks clean, guys, thank you. Thank you, you guys are a nice crowd here. President Obama's here in this chair here. Uh, so guys, just in case you guys are wondering, if you watch The Wizard of Oz with a Justin Bieber album playing in the background, nothing happens. Uh, but if you listen to a Kanye West album, Slowed Down in the Dark, it could easily be mistaken for two Jewish women gossiping over coffee. Uh, this is what it would sound like. 18 years, 18 years, 18 years. And on her 18th birthday, she had a kid found out. It wasn't even his. It wasn't even his. It wasn't even his. Get down, girl. Go ahead. Get down. That's what I told her. <laughs> she ain't looking for no gold digger. Well, that one doesn't kill us. Makes us stronger. That's how the Kanye West was one, guys, with that joke. That joke killed at the Chuckle Hut up in Skokie, Illinois. That's a fake comedy club. That's what I call my bedroom where I try all my new jokes on my stuffed animals. It's a hot new club. You should check it out. Uh, so I work as a personal trainer. You get asked a lot of dumb questions working in the gym. Uh, some of the top dumb questions I've been asked. Uh, is the treadmill good for the cardiology? What's better, the treadmill or the eucalyptical? Uh, combining fitness and musical instruments. My client asked me the other day, she goes, you want me to warm up on the Aleppo later? I was like, that sounds like a terrorist weapon from the future, but go right ahead and be careful. Uh, one woman came up to me, she's like, what kind of machines you got for the breasts? I like, felt like I had to ruin this poor woman's day by letting her know there was no machine for the breasts. I'm like, do I offer to motorboat this woman? Like, how does this work? Like, where do I draw the line? So I just stuck her between two BOSUs and told her to shake around. And uh, I left it at that. I do with that, guys. Uh, did you guys ever get uh, woken up to go to bed? You're like laying on the couch watching a movie. Your dad comes downstairs like, hey, come on, wake up, go to bed. Come on, wake up, go to sleep. Wake up from this spot on the couch where you are clearly comfortable sleeping and warm and move from this part of the house to this other part of the house and do it all over again. Wake up, come on, get to sleep. And then you get up there, he's like, sleep tight, kids. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> you're like, wait a minute, why are you moving me from the comfortable couch to the bug infested bed? And how do you sleep tightly? Like, what's going on here, Dad? And then you get up there, and he's like, uh, you know, looking at you all creepy. So I've already started thinking about ways I'm gonna freak my children out. You know, I'm gonna look at them all lovingly. I'm gonna grab on the door. I'm gonna be like, sleep tight, kids. Don't die. <laughs> just stare at them with that creepy face. That'd be good for the kids. So I don't do any race jokes on stage, guys. I don't even talk about my 5K times. Um, so I'll go there. Uh, Found out my neighbor is a fake racist. She's one of these people that whispers when she's racist as if somehow that makes it better. Uh, I saw her out in the elevator the other day. She's like, how you doing, Anthony? I'm like, good, how are you? She's like, well, we had a little incident outside the building the other day. I said, what happened? She's like, well, there were a couple of black people trying to get in the building, and I wasn't sure if we should be letting black people into the building. Because last week we had a couple of Asians. I wasn't sure if they were delivering food or what was going on there. Like, I figure there's nothing I'm going to say to this woman that's going to convince her that she's being blatantly racist, and so now I just whisper weird things to freak her out, like ways I'm violent towards women, you know? So, so I saw her the other day. She's like, are you dating anybody? I'm like, yeah, it's going really well. She came over. We had a little bit too much to drink, and I ended up slapping her around. <laughs> and, uh, she pulled out a knife, and I accidentally stabbed her in the stomach. Right <laughs> and now I don't know what I'm going to do with the body. <laughs> it's starting to smell. And the worst part about it was that she's black. I'm Anthony Benazzo. Thank you, guys. Oh, 
man, funny stuff. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for uh, coming out to do our show tonight. Thanks for having yeah, me. You weren't joking out there. You actually are a, a I, personal yeah, trainer. Yes, I am. You're very Chicago. fit. Thank you. Are there parallels between physical fitness and, and comedy? Absolutely. Uh, a lot of the stuff tonight was just kind of the tip of the iceberg for what you see. People are very obsessive with their health and. Uh, you know, it's a lot of crazy stories out there that you run into and you'd be surprised. I, I could imagine. To, to play off of the, the working out reference, as a comedian, I know you do a lot on Twitter and Facebook. Right. You're kind of, can you work out material in social media? Is that a good yeah, platform Yeah, for you? totally. It's like, a, it's like a pre-open mic, so like I'll test stuff online. And if people like it or comment on it, I'll go out and try it at an open mic. And if it does well there, you know, you bring it onto a show and you kind of are constantly refining those jokes. So it's kind of a cool little you know, way to motivate yourself to write. You know. Did you always want to be a comedian? Uh, I think, I don't think I necessarily had any aspirations. When I was younger, I would do a lot of imitations at the dinner table and, you Imita know. Famous people or family yeah, members? Yeah, family members, Bill Cosby, Bill, uh, you know, Bill stuff Bill Cosby's like that. in your family? Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. it's, my, it's my dad, actually. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell. <laughs> so. So impersonation, and then do you remember that one defining moment, either when you were on stage or with family, and you got that laugh and you said, aha, I want to do this for a living? Uh, I don't know that it was necessarily at home. I remember uh, I was on a trip to Disneyland, and this guy, we were on the, the little train thing to Epcot Center, and he cracked some joke because the train stopped, and everybody started laughing. I'm like, I want to be that guy. So after that, I don't know, it's a weird story, but that's... He's little... booked on our show tomorrow, okay, cool. actually. He's going to come out Great. and do It'd a set like tomorrow. Reunion. <laughs> so you, you <laughs> came out tonight to set him up. <laughs> but, uh, so on Twitter, you are at Bonoza, Bonazzo31. Yeah. Yep. Okay, fantastic. And then you have some upcoming shows? Yeah, I'm going to be at uh, Jokes and Notes on uh, the South Side on November 30th and December 1st. Wonderful. Well, we will look for you, and you're welcome back here anytime. Thank you. Appreciate Funny it. stuff. Thank you. Let's hear it once again for Thank Anthony you. Bonazzo, Thank everybody. You. Thank, you Thank you very much. Yeah. We will be back right after this. Stay with us. Well, I told my brother a while back that if he ever bought a home, that I would fly down and, and help him move. And then I remembered that uh, Gary Airport once again had passenger service. Checked them out, and the prices just blew me away. All around experience was, was just top notch and the best value for the money. If you're looking for a, a friendly, convenient, economical way to fly, Gary's definitely the way to go.
you, gentlemen. Sonny Lee and the Seven on Ridge Orchestra. Okay, my next guest tonight is an energetic performer and skilled songwriter from East Chicago, Indiana. He was selected by Midwest Beats Magazine's readers as the favorite male vocalist. And his voice print CD, which I have right here, was chosen by NWI.com as the number one Chicagoland independent CD. A huge honor indeed. We are thrilled to welcome to our show tonight, Robbie Celestin. Robbie! Hi, Robbie, how are you? Good seeing you. You too, there. have a seat. Wow. You know, we were um, chatting a little bit backstage. Yes. You're obviously a very gifted performer, well, thanks. musically, but you're also a funny guy. You've been on the radio, you've yes. done some things. Where, where might have people heard you? The Loop. I was, uh, I was on the Danny Bonaducci show for about a year doing funny, goofy sports bits <laughs> for a bit. And uh, yeah, it was a good time. I, I actually, you know, I, I was never, I was more into the music side of entertainment and the writing side, but then I, I, I happened to hear him on the show and he was giving away the world his first day. Whatever you guys need, call me, call me, call me. So I called him in and said, hey, you don't have anybody doing sports. He's like, well, you want to do it? Come on in. So I, I don't think they ever expected me to show up. But I came in and I, I did a bit and he was shocked. They were all shocked that somebody was there. Like, oh, we didn't expect him to actually <laughs> be here. But they called me in and, uh, and at first I thought he hated my guts. And then the light, the, uh, the on air light kind of went off and we went to commercial and he just pulled in and said, I want him here every day, we're gonna do this. And I ended up being a part of the show, so it was fun. And it yeah. clicked. It just, and it sometimes clicked. you just have to have the, the courage to sort of go out there and try it, right? I, I'm so impressed with you because having to do that, you know, mainly, I, I, you know, I didn't have as many segments, you know, but I, every day had to figure out what's, what's funny today. I, mean, I had to find the funny in the day. And to do it for a long, long time like you is just, it's impressive. It's, well, it's, it's fun. It's fun because I get to meet and work with people like yeah, you. But you have toys. I, I do have Growing toys. Growing up, I never had the, the coolest toys in the world. I have you know. a gigantic You have a band and rooster. a rooster. I do, A band yes. and a rooster. And the band so. is much cooler than the rooster. <laughs> Not to. Hey, watch it. It's, it's, I love you, Kaka. I don't know what you're talking about. It's debatable. You never know. Yes, it's debatable. Uh, you've done some amazing things in your career. I know you've you've uh, you've traveled. Yes. You performed at the White House. Yes. Yeah, that was a great time. It was it was for one of the Christmas shows and just just amazing. Uh, you know, I mean, it's more surreal to go through the back door of the White House and see the inner workings in the rooms that we don't all see than it is to actually do the show. The show is just surreal you're you're glassed over and you you, you go back but to, to, yeah to see the the inner workings and you know see CIA guys or FBI guys or whoever's really the guys the guys the guys, guys, the, the guys you don't want to mess the with. guys with the ear pieces you don't want to mess with you know they're not listening to the game I mean they're ser <laughs> it, they're serious and yeah to, to see all the inner workings was really cool that was an honor yeah who are some fellow performers people you, you look up to that you've gotten an opportunity to work with oh my gosh well you know I, I got to meet Smokey Robinson and that's that's wow. pretty huge that's pretty huge you know the 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 list of you know who who I'm into I, my father was a singer in a group called the Enchanters and they uh, they were an old 60s Atlantic soul oh somebody yeah, one we get give a shout out to them. okay <laughs> we'll talk <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so he you know he was, you know, for a, he's more of a footnote, I guess, in musical history. You know, they, they didn't excel that much in the, in the big, you know, in the, in the big world of music, but you know, they performed with the Temptations and the Jackson Five and things like that. So my mom had little, little Jack, Michael Jackson on her lap for that evening, you know, in between the, the shows. And so I think I was brought up on a lot of that stuff at first, the Motown, the Temptations, and Chicago, Chicago Soul, by the way, which they should give more, more props to, because everybody knows Motown, but Chess Records and a lot of that stuff. Absolutely. I, I grew up on a lot of that, you know. And then, of course, later on, everybody else, you know, everybody from Dave Matthews to Blues Traveler to, you know. In, in the Chicagoland area, I don't really think the show business community or the music industry really gives enough credit to the yeah. talent oh. in our neck of the woods. Why is so that? So true. It's it's out there and I and I, I feel like the the fact that it doesn't have the same East Coast, West Coast attack, even in attitude, you know, there's so many talented people in town uh, who get cherry picked by a lot of bigger acts, by the way, to, to work with yeah. them. But they, they, they definitely don't stick their chests out. They're, they have a Midwestern, here we are, we're just making some music and having some fun. Yeah. It's Doing a vibe. Yeah. yeah, so I, I, I have to admit, you know, I've met some of the greatest musicians. You know, I've, I've been around the world, and I've, I've met some amazing people, but in Chicago, I've met some of the most 
amazing musicians I've ever seen. And I'll, no matter where I end up, I think Chicago is always going to be home for me. So it's an amazing community, wow. amazing, amazing town. It's Speaking amazing. of amazing, your album, Voice Prince, yes. is doing really well. It's, it's been fun, a fun ride doing that, yeah. yeah. And you're going to do a number for us tonight. What, what do you have in store for us? Well, I, you know, actually, we're, 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 I think we're doing a couple. And this is a special sneak preview, by the way. This is the, uh -huh. I just finished a, a new song. Okay. called Coming Home. It has not been released yet, and this is the first time it's ever really been played So for, we're going to get a, yeah. a preview tonight. Yes. Oh, yes. this is exciting. Spoiler alert. Spoiler so alert. <laughs> I want to mention your website, RobbieCelestin.com. Yes. That's where people can find out more about find you. Out everything you need to know. I, I work with a bunch of different groups, and, and just go to RobbieCelestin.com. You can pick up a CD on iTunes. It's a good CD, I promise. And uh, I yeah. can vouch for that. Well, <laughs> enough talking. Let's get to some singing. How All about right, that? Let's, do let's that. hear it for Robbie <laughs> Selenson, everybody. <laughs> the best I can to fight the good fight of a traveling man but I've got to do better cause I'm not alone somebody's waiting for me at the end of this road now I'm hoping to be free from these chains the road has on me I'm a working I'm a racing trying to get back to you I'm coming Gotta walk out the door All that I am You make me more But don't get me bored I love what I do But it hurts my soul When I'm too far from you Though I'm living on the stage it's not my story it's just a page i'm a working in i'm a racing in i'm trying to get back to you i'm coming home oh, 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 oh. mm. won't you wait Come 
by used guitars? As a matter of fact, we do. Here at the Chicago Music Exchange, we'll fairly evaluate and offer top dollar on your vintage or used guitars, basses, and amplifiers. We'll be thorough and honest every step of the way, making the selling experience comfortable and hassle-free. We love vintage guitars, we love guitars made in the U.S., and every special piece in between. So come on by to the Chicago Music Exchange with your gear and you might just walk out of here with a giant check. Once again, here's Robbie Celestin, everybody. Cards you think you're meant to play You walked in for a different reason Playing bumper cars with your inner treason You may not know me now I'll show you the way I'm in love with singing songs Done my bear of rights and wrongs There's always more to me than what you see I got a love for laughing R&B Rock and roll in history Make me smile, I'm yours as you want me to be you Recognize material-wise My message size is lost on you Scrutinize and strategize Best way for you to see it through I just want you to get me I just don't want you to get me Get me if you can Hey! You might think I'm on a scheme Just a little man running with a little boy's dream There's many layers that you've yet to peel when you think I'm putting on a show Shows me little baby how much you don't know I do what I do and I do it cause that's how I feel Music makes me do crazy things Jumping like my legs on springs I've many gifts, I use them as I please Read a good book in the summer sun Throw my football baby just for fun Jump into my world Put your inquiries at ease Tabulate, don't hesitate, investigate what I've given you Realize, don't jeopardize, best way to see me through I just 
want you to get me, yeah. I just want you to get me. back we are almost out of time before we go I want to quickly thank all of our guests first of all uh, Anthony Bonazzo thank you very much very funny stuff great job Anthony the mob rules awesome job tonight as well uh, Robbie Celestin it's here for Robbie and I, I, I guess I also need to thank uh, mother Beulah May who came out earlier in the show um, you know she looks suspiciously like that talented young man, JB, who's been out here to perform a few times. Maybe they're related, I don't know. He can come back anytime. Her, I don't, not so sure about all that. Uh, great show tonight. Thank you, everybody, for, for coming. Thank you, Sonny Lee, the great seven on Ridge Orchestra. Once again, taking us home tonight, the mob rules. See you tomorrow, everybody. Good night.
decided to take the kids to Florida to go to Disney World for a family vacation. We love the pricing of the Gary Chicago International Airport. Checking in was um, actually a breeze, it was actually beyond my expectations. I would rate the Gary Chicago International Airport definitely a 10.